we'll have to see how it goes. Yeah. So, but we're going to be open in two weeks. You're not. Oh, that's right. Trump's canceling Corona. That's yeah, right. he said in two <laughs> weeks it's <laughs> over. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. That'll be in time for Easter. Everybody can be together. Yeah. Right. Right. My, so, yeah. So I had made some pasta dinners and uh, my kids just came to pick them up and I, they were going to drop some off at my mom's porch and they won't even come in. <laughs> they won't even come in here. They, I had to put it out by the door for them. That's crazy. Yeah, my kids. They, they yeah. live together, right? Is it just the two of them that live there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They've quarantined themselves, so they're done. Well, because they both work in restaurants, right? Yeah, and they're they're pretty much closed because it's more of like a dining in. It's not so much takeout. Yeah. So they they're not as busy. Um, consuming too much sugar can affect the cells in your immune system. I think sugar is the devil. I think it's like a drug. You do. Yeah. Totally. Totally. You know what I've realized? Let me just take it off track one minute. The only people working right now are sales calls because I've literally gotten three while I've been doing this with you. Really? Yeah, they are like, they're killing it. In a warehouse. Yeah, they're killing it right now. Uh, so why do you think, so wait, so tell me, tell me about the sugar. Tell me what you think. Um, I just know if I eat a lot of sugar, I feel like crap. I don't sleep well. I'm achy. I want more and more of it. Um, I always feel groggy. Like I could always lay down for a nap. When I cut it out, I'm wide awake like all day. When I go to bed at night, I sleep. I fall asleep right away. I sleep better. I sleep sounder. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It's just like my body feels way better not having it. And I can so, feel a big... So do you... But what about your wine? That doesn't count. That's free. <laughs> An apple doesn't count for sugar because it's natural. It's natural. Yeah. Okay, you're talking about refined. I'm talking like a Snickers bar. Yes. A glass of wine is a gift from God. Okay. Yeah. I it's get it. Good. It's right. If you're in church, it's good for you. Okay. If it... <laughs> All right, I get it now. Yeah. So, yeah, so you're supposed to stay away from sugar, um... And it can contribute to this disease. Uh, they also said it's not good for diabetes. So I'm going down fast if I get it. Uh, even though I have not really had the diabetes in a couple months. But this quarantine thing is not going to be good for my diet. Being home all day? Well, yeah, because you're going to want to eat, you know? Yeah. It's not... Uh, yeah, this isn't a good idea. But so what we started to do at Rhino's today is we're doing little kits where you can, we're giving a piece of dough and cheese and pepperoni and sauce in a little box. And then oh, you my. can go home and you can make your own pizza or you could go and make your own pickle pizza. We have all the ingredients in there to make our famous pickle pizza. That's an awesome idea. Yeah, so this way you could keep the kids busy. Yeah. And the family spend some time preparing your own food. That is such a good idea. Yeah, so I started posting... Well, Oh, I guess you weren't there today. You don't know. I, I don't know. I They just sent me everything from home, and I made the little posters and posted them and did a little Facebook advertising. So we'll see how that works out. Um, let me think. Is there What other stories did you get? Um, I just had the Trump stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, how is... Um, the uh, have you had any nightmare stories on the wedding shaming? Because people have to be canceling their weddings, right? Weddings left, right, and center. Yeah, there was one last week I saw. Mm -hmm. I can really find it again. I had the picture saved for it. Um, 
where the couple was just like, F you, we're still having the wedding. Yeah. I did see a cute, super cute one today that I posted that the couple, um, they went ahead with their wedding anyways, like canceled like the big wedding. So it was just like family and their wedding party that was there. Right. But then all the guests came and drove by. Um, the wedding had honked at them. <laughs> uh, as they were coming out of the church was super super sweet because they couldn't be there to be in the church with them so they all drove by and honked and had signs out for them and everything right okay so um these people are not i don't know what her name is everyone please be advised jake and i will not be canceling the wedding next saturday just because of some stupid virus instead we're simply going to ask all of you to hear adhere to some corona-esque rules and procedures before you enter the venue each person is required to place a hundred dollars into the insurance honey pot bucket to cover those who may become sick as a result of the stop wedding. it <laughs> hold on <laughs> <laughs> i can't even with these people claims for honey pot money will only be valid with a doctor's note each person must wear surgical graded gloves, a facial mask, and scrubs if you choose. Mm-hmm. Yes, wear anything from the official Corona color palette. Image below so we can all gather into one big Corona cell picture. <laughs> Violators of this policy will be removed, and I'm serious. Looking forward to the wedding, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hot. Bless these girls. I do feel bad though for a lot of these. Like these, some of these people have been planning their weddings for years, and especially ones in like say June and July, like April, May. Okay, they already know they got to cancel. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. But like June, and July, how late do you leave it? Like especially if you have a lot of people flying in or something, or you have a destination wedding, like. It's not like you can cancel it the week before. You have to give people time, and you just have no idea what's happening. Yeah. I, feel really I know, bad. I know. A friend of mine's daughter's getting married at the end of May. Uh, that's the one I went to the bridal shower. So I just don't know what's going to happen by the end of May. And it's in your town? Mm-hmm. The wedding? Yes. See, at least with that and a lot of local people, you can kind of leave it to the last minute. Yeah. Um, and decide. But, like, if you're going away or you have a lot of people flying, like, you need to... If we have happen. to keep people in the house until the end of May like this, like, our economy is just going to crash. Yeah. People cannot financially live like this. <gasps> Has anybody actually, actually in person witnessed somebody object during a wedding ceremony? No. <laughs> Would you find? Yeah, you got a story. You ready? Yeah, let's hear it. I was a bridesmaid in a wedding, and the best man objected because he and the groom were having an affair. <laughs> All right, that's good. Bride was so shocked. We all went to the reception, minus the groom and the best man for a party. Can you imagine? Oh, my mm. goodness. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I've never... Yeah, I know. I mean, that's true. How many people have ever had somebody say, oh, I object? Can you see this in the picture? Does that come through to you? Yeah. Okay, it's on Wish. You see what they are? It's no. It's crack pipes. Oh! And it's tagged underneath. Perfect wedding Perfect wedding giveaway. Perfect for a wedding reception. Crack. Who's doing crack pipes at a wedding reception? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, these people. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's something. Well, listen, I don't know if we're going to get... Oh, wait, are we getting uh, Margaret and Teresa to come in? I don't know. I haven't heard a word from them. Okay. All right. Well, listen, we'll wrap this one up because I'm feeling like uh, we could probably just do another one again tomorrow. We'll just knock them out. All right. Sounds good. You know, and better to do. So, yeah. Yeah. Teresa and them will have some updates for us. Um, Yeah. 
and I will uh we'll, we'll we'll just keep on knocking out these podcasts hear what's going on with all of us so Perfect. thanks thanks Jen and uh we will talk to you guys all soon have fun all right